This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it might just be the best smartphone they could buy this year. All right, it's Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra time, which means that this is the latest and greatest smartphone from Samsung. It's got a 6.8 inch AMOLED display, 120 Hertz, LTPO, all the, the good stuff that you could expect from a flagship display nowadays. It's very similar to last year's S22 Ultra, which we actually crowned as the best Android phone of the year. Samsung's made some pretty subtle changes with the design of this year's device. So the cameras on the back all have this sort of metallic ring surrounding them. Gives it a bit more protection. It also makes them protrude a bit more than last year. One of the bigger differences with this year's Galaxy S23 Ultra is the processor. So you're getting a Qualcomm Snapdragon HN2 for Galaxy, made by TSMC. There you go. It's a pretty good processor. It's overclocked to 3.36 gigahertz versus the standard 3.2 gigahertz. How do I put this? I mean, the, the phone just works really well. Now for me, I'm literally pushing the processor with video editing, photo editing, scrolling through long pages, reading about ChatGBT and all those AI stuff that's coming out lately. The processor just handles all of that gracefully and at the same time, it doesn't take too much of a toll on the battery life, which for the Galaxy S23 Ultra, even though it has the same 5,000 milliamp battery as last year's S22 Ultra, it's been really good. I'm getting about seven hours of screen on time every day. The only thing that I have a gripe with in terms of this device, and it's not the biggest problem, it's just more of a nitpick because at the end of the day, this is a $1,200 device. It's the charging speed. I think Samsung's had 45 watt proprietary fast charging for about four years now since the Note 20 Ultra and it hasn't really gone any quicker since then so I really did hope that Samsung would up the charging speed this year either to 65 watts or even to 80 if they wanted to I'll settle with 65 watts but yeah I mean especially when you're comparing it to the competition the OnePlus 11 just came out and it has a 100 watt charging 80 watt if you're in the US so it just puts the 45 watt to shame and I really wish Samsung would give the Ultra phone the Ultra treatment with fast charging. All right, let's talk about the cameras on the Galaxy S23. Now, the main thing with this year's camera is that 200 megapixel main lens. Samsung's giving you really three options here. You could take 12.5 megapixel photos, that's by default, 50 megapixel photos, and the full 200 megapixel photo. Now really the main use case with this 200 megapixel output is that if you're trying to perhaps print out an image and like put it on your wall, then the extra megapixels, the extra resolution can make the photo look a lot cleaner. Now there are some consistencies with the photos this year. The main thing for me is that it's a bit more saturated and warmer than the typical photos that you'd get from an iPhone or a Pixel phone. And I kind of prefer that. I mean, if I'm going from camera to social media app or camera to sharing with a family member or friend, I want the output to be as good looking as possible, even if it doesn't mean that it's the most natural. And like last year, you could do as far as 100x zoom with the camera, but I actually prefer the 30x zoom the most because I think that gives the best ratio of distance as well as quality. Low light photos are pretty good as well. Samsung says a lot of this has to do with that new 200 megapixel image sensor that's basically able to process a lot more detail, especially in dimmer settings. All right, and I'll wrap up this review with a front-facing video test of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is with a 12 megapixel shooter, which is compared to last year's 40 megapixels, but honestly, footage still looks really good. I'm in focus, autofocus works as well. I'm not overexposed, oversaturated. And uh, yeah, footage just looks really clean. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the Galaxy S23 Ultra in the comment section down below. And you can also check out my full review on ZDNet.com.